Hello, my name is Yvonne Cairns. I am the Acting Clinical Nurse Manager of the Emergency Department here in Tala. In response to the National Patient Experience Survey, um, we decided to make a few changes in our emergency department. Um, so from that, um, the patients felt like they needed a bit more dignity and privacy and more communication within the waiting room. Um, so the waiting room can induce quite a, a stress response, I would think. People are there, they have different things wrong with them, they haven't planned to be here um, and they end up waiting for a number of hours, maybe they didn't know what was going on. Um, so in, in order to improve that, we decided that we would get, uh, we have a rolling screen which has information about the process within the ED where they are in their journey um, and what will happen next. Um, so as well as that, they are retriaged after a period of time, which gives them that contact with someone to say they haven't been forgotten. Um, and they are also get armbanded in the triage room, which again helps with identification. And um, the other thing is, I suppose, the privacy. The waiting room is always very busy. Um, there's nearly always a queue for reception, um, and you have to give sensitive information and details to a non-medical person at reception. So, to afford them that little bit of privacy, we've put some red lines where people don't step over. Um, it just gives them that little bit more space and uh, freedom to to give their sensitive information. Um, so yeah, so those are the small changes we made and hopefully that has made a difference to the patient. Um, so definitely what did you find? Yeah, well, to, to back up really what you said there, you, you hit really hit the nail on the head. Um, for me arriving here, uh, when you do arrive to, to the ED department, you, you are in a situation where you're so caught up in what's going on, you've probably left family behind or the kids need to be collected or, or your carers with you. So there's so many things that go into your head as well as the fact that you want to get through and get into the waiting and get behind that door as you say. Um, so it's nice when you first came in to initially see those tracks in the ground so you knew where to go and that's a big thing. And also you felt like you're, you, you, you were comfortable passing on the information, did you feel like everybody Everybody was listening to every word you said, which is also a great thing. Um, you do sit down in, in, in the waiting area, and I kind of at that moment you're thinking, like, where am I in all this? What's going to happen? Um, and if you're lucky, you have somebody with you who you can talk to, and, and it gets you through all those type of situations. However, you are triaged first, which was great because you just get to see something, and it's just an opportunity to just offload. I did it, and you could just get, you just get it off your chest, and um, that's great. But then you go back outside and you can be still waiting for quite some time and you're, you're wondering well, what's going to happen next. So I think for me to, have, to be able to go back in again and be called back in again for the second triage, it, it, it really kind of took a lot of the stress and, and just the, the, the kind of, I suppose, the pain in another way away from it, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, I found the change is good. The rolling screen is a great idea. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's a stressful situation. It's always going to be charged in some way or another, so um, for me it won't.